Now, it's been widely known by the general public that there's no doubt about it that Snow White 2024 is most likely going to be the biggest box office flop for Disney next year, based on everything that has been happening with the leaked photos to the plot leaks and everything surrounding the Seven Dwarfs, and exactly what's going on with Rachel Zegler and Gal Gadot with their roles as Snow White and the Evil Queen, and as Bob Iger and the Disney board are really going all in with the damage control to tame the bad backlash. Things just aren't looking good to say the least for this movie. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support and let's get right into the subject, shall we? Now, it's very much common knowledge at this point that Snow White is nowhere near to the original 1937 original. This is nothing more than a retelling or a reimagining that was actually, you know, not even close to a Bob Iger promise, but promise back in 2021, where he did say in public that Snow White, the remake in live action, was going to be a beat for beat remake of the 37 original. Turns out that was a complete lie and was not the case. But looking at all of this, given that Bob Iger and Chapek have made false promises over the years for Disney and how they really have not been doing the greatest job as CEOs. You know, we've seen on and off the Battle of the Bobs, right? When you compare all of their weaknesses and what kind of strengths they've had over the years, it has been an up and down roller coaster. Let me just say that much. Now, looking onwards here, all right, on top of this, with Snow White 2024 heading for major disaster next year by Disney and Bob Iger, the damage control just keeps getting worse as they are now revising the entire official trailer and starting from scratch with a new trailer company after firing the last one. Now, the trailer that Disney viewed as a risk to sparking more criticism is worse than anyone ever imagined. One of the major shots in the beginning of the trailer showcased a complete retelling where the seven dwarves are dancing and playing instruments while walking on top of the famous log scene from the 1937 original with Snow White this time around, however, leading them portrayed by Rachel Zegler. This shot in the trailer worked hand in hand with the new pop slash folk remix of the Hi Ho song played over the shot. Another sequence in the trailer embraced a full-on sequence in which the seven dwarves are chopping logs with axes in front of a cave, giving off major lumberjack vibes with the film, followed by a glimpse of the magic mirror on the wall, which appears like a zombified female with white long hair. Now, let me pause here, because we talked about this lightly two days ago, is that there's been a lot of talk that they gender-swapped the magic mirror on the wall. Um, some people may very well have a very big issue with that, but we know that they are changing a lot of things in this movie to begin with. Everything ranging from the Seven Dwarfs, to Snow White, to the Evil Queen, to the Prince Charming now being just a flat-out Jonathan. All right, not even Prince Jonathan, it's literally just Jonathan. Um, so there's a lot of real losses with this movie, all right? And this is exactly why I think a lot of the people, a lot of, you know, the people that are very fully aware about how controversial this movie's gonna be are really not gonna bother seeing this in theaters and even on streaming once it arrives on Disney+. Plus most likely during the summer of 2024, if it does debut in March and fails at the box office. So, the thing about this trailer that's actually quite hilarious and laughable, to be honest, is like, can you guys just imagine seeing this, like, in the trailer, where you have, like, these actual characters that are supposed to be the Seven Dwarfs, they look like hippies, or whatever you want to call them, homeless people in this scenario, and... They're dancing around, they're playing instruments, they're walking on the log, being led by Rachel Zegler's Snow White, and it's being played over or alongside the remixed version of the Hi Ho song that's said to be a pop folk type genre and has new lyrics involved. Now we know that Disney stepped in with that song and they are completely revising it and watering it down, probably because they know that 
they went way overboard. It was said to be worse than the Scuttlebutt song from The Little Mermaid. I challenged everybody last week to check out that video or that song. The Scuttlebutt for Little Mermaid. Terrible. Now, I know a lot of people can't last more than 10 seconds, but we know that everything related to this gets even worse. Let's explain. Now, in front of Gal Gadot's Evil Queen character, the magic mirror that looks like a zombified female vanishes. The following shot also involved another sequence featuring the seven dwarves where they are running and leading a series of animals, such as rabbits, deer, and even what appear to be doves, as they are holding some type of weapons. This is why Disney is heading into full damage control mode by cutting back completely on the footage of the seven dwarf characters in order to save further backlash. Finally, one of the worst shots of of all that Disney is reversing, of course, for the love interest known as Jonathan is actually seen dancing in the background with the dwarves, where the camera is focused on Rachel Zegler holding what appears to be the famous poisonous apple, where the apple appears to be desaturating the color of her skin on her hand as she holds it, something like coming out of the Evil Dead movies. Teasing the Apple scene that is different from the 37 original, all of which is now being reworked by Disney to avoid these sequences as they revise their marketing strategy with a new trailer company to work on all of it through and through. Now, look, I know that Disney and Bob Iger think that cutting back on any kind of footage with the Seven Dwarves are going to save themselves. It's not. I know I've said this way too many times, but reshoots and rewrites, whatever you're going to do, it's not going to cure the problem for this movie or the backlash. As long as you have those seven dwarfs in that movie, it's going to really, you know, it's going to bite them. It really is. It's going to really cause Disney to crumble. It's going to cause this movie to lose hundreds of millions of dollars. And that's just for starters, because this is also going to tarnish the Snow White legacy, the Disney legacy where all the animated movies began. And I always say it's quite ironic that Disney started the animated movies back in 37's Snow White, and it could very well, quite possibly end in 2024 if it's going to be that bad. If of epic proportions, if it's going to be that bad, they may very well not even embrace any more Disney remakes. And if they don't, it may not be for a while. So with that being said, Given that this is just an embarrassment because we know we've gone over the firings happening and surrounding the Snow White 24 film, you know, uh, the marketing team being let go, two trailer companies biting the dust and a new one getting hired in order to really kind of do this Hail Mary for Disney to kind of just rework the whole strategy of promoting this film. We even know that Disney has been instructing the seven actors that play these, what they call magical creatures, to answer specific questions the right way based on the backlash about the original character designs of the seven dwarves from the 37 originals. So again, the trailer was supposed to be very much heavy on those characters, now they are trying to get rid of that as fast as possible ahead of D23 by this September, which is when it debuts. So anyways guys, you know, drop a comment below, fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys next time.